do you do all that? I don't know, I just do it. Well, you're in physics, right? Yeah. How do you do it? Alright, come on. We'll start with the basics. Like that. How do you do something like jump off of a height that tall and not get hurt? Alright, well, it's on the roll. Here, let me explain. I'm going to show you why we have to roll. Alright, well we're here on my roof. And according to potential energy, potential energy is mass times gravity times the height. We're about 3 meters above the ground, and I weigh approximately 73 kilograms. So if I were to jump off of here right now and just land, that would be... Let's see, let me do the math. About 2,146 joules of energy easily over twice as much needed to break a leg bone. The reason why I land and roll is because when I land, not only do my legs, but also my hands and my upper body absorb impact, which increases the amount of time my body comes to a stop, which lessens the overall force on my body. There you see. I just came down with the kinetic energy of 2,146 joules. Kinetic energy equals one half the mass times the velocity squared. So as I land, my legs absorb the impact, and then my hands, and then my upper body. And that increases my time of impact, lessening the force on my body, and result, I'm fine. What about your shoes? How do those help you with landing? Actually, they provide a lot of cushion. It's all in these holes. They provide a cushion which allows me to decrease my momentum over a greater period of time, which in the end results in a less force on my body. Oh, okay. So what about all those flips you do? Can you explain any of that? So what makes a flip work? Basically, the centrifugal force equals the mass times the velocity squared over the radius. Basically, the tighter I tuck, the faster I spin around. Alright, well, I'll demonstrate with a front flip. See, this is me trying to do a front flip, but staying open, not getting any tuck. Nothing happens. I, my radius is too large. I don't get the spin. How about I bring in the radius a little more and get half the tuck I need. Still not enough. I really gotta lessen that radius to get as much force out of it as I can. Watch how tight I tuck. See? The smaller the radius, the more force you have. This is true for all flips, like the side flip. Or even the back flip. The tighter I tuck, the faster I spin, the easier it is to land. So how does a trick like the 180 front flip work? How do you spin on two different axes at the same time? Alright, we have the longitudinal and the transverse axes, and they both operate independently. That's how you can spin one way and the other way at the same time. I saw in one of your YouTube videos that you were able to climb all the way up this wall. Can you explain that? Hi, so here's how a wall works. As I push on the wall, it exerts an equal force back on my body. So if I hit the wall, jumping, my force is up like this. And if it's exerting an equal force like this on my body, together they propel me upward towards the top of the wall. The coefficient of friction between this wall and my shoe's specialized rubber is 1.05. Wow, that's so interesting. Can you teach me? Of course, come on.